Mission quests were one of the many things added to TDS that really support the replayability factor in this game. In this video, I'll rank every mission skin in the game based mostly on how good it looks, but occasionally factoring how difficult the quest itself can be. So, let's get started. And as a disclaimer, most background footage in this video was from Corso, so shout out to him. And I'm giving the number 21 spot to the Phantom Minigunner. There are just so many minigunner skins in the game that it's hard to make a skin feel unique and, well, this isn't unique. I mean, the quest itself is pretty easy, so that's a plus, but not the most exciting skin. For the number 20 spot, I'll be putting the Star Spartan Militant. Max level being extra large is cool and all, but if you are using Militant, it usually isn't for max level. The design is decent, but that doesn't make up for the fact that its quest is also just way too long and way too difficult for the reward. For the number 19 spot, I'm putting the Slayer Shotgunner. Now don't get me wrong here, the skin itself, very high tier, probably like top 10, it's such a clean design, the custom animations are awesome, but what I am slandering here is the quest itself. You have to beat Fallen Mode on Infernal Abyss, the hardest map in the game. When I did this quest, I had to use so many consumables and with the squad too, it's just not really the best thing for your book. Anyways, for number 18, I'll be putting the Fallen Scout. I'm just not a fan of the custom animation and the design in general turns me off. For number 17, I'll follow with Fallen Militant. This random, like, animal skull design doesn't fit the overall Fallen theme. And I mean, I'm just not a fan of the skin in general as well. Number 16 is where it starts to get difficult to rank these skins, because to be honest, they are all really good from here on out. So, if your favorite skin gets placed lower than you expected, don't take it personal. Anyways, here we go with number 16, we have the Fallen Necromancer. It has a cool base design for the tower itself, but the minions themselves don't carry that same vibe and I really don't like how the gravestones don't look that different on max level, because then you don't know when you should use your ability. It's just something I nitpick with when I use Necromancer skins. Anyways, at number 15 we have Fallen Mortar. The gems being shot out of the mortar is pretty cool, but that's about it. Compared to the other Fallen skins, the design is just a bit more lackluster. Still an awesome skin! But the fall other Fallen skins and other Mission Quest skins are just better. Anyways, let's go with the number 14 slot, the Fallen Sledger. I really like the level 0, but after that I just don't like how it looks. Also, nobody really uses Sledger anymore, so that kind of adds to it as well. In the number 13 spot, we have Fallen Medic. The design is pretty sick, but to me it just feels a tiny bit messy. Like, maybe it's the random long white hair or something. I don't know what it is about it. For number 12, I'll put the Fallen Warden. It's custom animations are really cool, but you see, when I look at Fallen Warden, I just think of like Core Blocks Warden, having a similar theme, but just looking cooler. That knocks it down a peg for me. I mean, it's a cool skin, but I'll be sticking to Core Blocks, thank you. Here in number 11, we put the Fallen Cowboy. I'm a little biased just because I use the Cowboy a lot, and it might have been ranked higher thanks to its custom animation, but now that Megalodon and Plushie also have this custom animation, it really isn't that custom anymore. In the top 10 spot, let's say the Badlands Ranger. Pretty clean skin, but there's a way cooler Ranger skin down the line of this list, and some other skins in general that just outshine this. In the number 9 position, I'll put the Fallen Minigunner. It is an awesome skin with custom animations on like every single path, and I love the huge spinning max level minigun, but just compared to the other skins on this list, those are a lot cooler. Now top 8 is where it gets even tougher. Because all of these upcoming skins, I'm warning you right now, are just so closely good in quality and design and all the business, it's hard to rank them, okay? But without further ado, in the top 8 spot, we have the Fallen Commander. The custom voice lines and custom APCs are awesome, and the design itself is pretty good as well. With all of its factors being good, it places it pretty high, but I just don't see it excelling in anything. Number 7, let's go with the Fallen Engineer. I told you the top 16, and especially top 8, would be really closely ranked. For a skin as awesome as Fallen Engineer to be top 7 is really surprising. Now, when it comes to this decision, the custom sentries carry. They're just the coolest engineer sentries ever, even with custom blue bubble shields. But the engineer design itself is what gets me out. It just feels a bit messy, and the custom animations are cool. It's very cool. It's an awesome skin, don't get me wrong, it's number 7, but I like the other skins more here. Moving on to number 6 is the Railgunner Ranger. The custom Railgun animation is just awesome, and I really like the color palette of the skin. Amazing skin, but let's get on with number 6. Now number 5, let's say the Phantom Commander. 
definitely a hot take to have this over things like Railgunner Ranger, Fallen Engineer, and Fallen Commander, but I just really like the clean design and the voice lines of the skin. It's just, the design feels so clean. I'm just sad this does no custom APCs for this. Now number four, Nuclear Accelerator. Probably another hot take, but I just really like the clean design of the Nuclear Accelerator, and it's one of my favorite Accelerator skins behind another one on this list. So I wonder what that could be. Anyways, here we go with top three. In top three, I'll put the Fallen Brawler. There's just so much detail, and it all blends so perfectly, along with completely custom animations, this rightfully lands a spot in the top three. Now, the second, number two slot, up with the Cybernetic Crook Boss. The only thing that really sucks about the skin for me is having to do Space City on Fallen three whole times, but with the recent Crook Boss buff, I'm sure that makes it somewhat easier. It's worth putting this up here, even if the quest is hard, because the custom minions and the skin itself are just so clean. And no surprise, based on the thumbnail, the number one spot for me is Fallen Accelerator. This is like when Mage Accelerator released way back, if you remember, and it was so cool. It's just this all over again for me. I love the huge crystal that shoots out of a max level, and the completely custom animation is just awesome. Even if the skin doesn't have much detail, I still love it. So there you have it, every single mission skin ranked from worst to best. If you disagree, feel free to leave a comment with your rankings, and if you agree, Awesome. Peace out, guys. Have a good day.